Hey there, good morning Bella Vista. Boy, are we gonna talk about it today. This is JB Portolo and this segment is called Let's Talk About It. I can't wait to introduce you to these folks. <laughs> this is Richard and Tina Lorenz, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have an artist. Da -da. That, that, that is me. That would be you. Mm -hmm. And we have the author. Guilty. Guilty, okay. <laughs> so, what a partnership. I'd like to know a little bit about you guys. You know, give me the elevator speech on, on how'd you meet and how'd you get together? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Um, I uh, was a newspaper editor and wanted to interview him for a magazine I was writing for as well, and he denied interview about four times, and then I just demanded it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of our first introduction. Um, he met me, I interviewed him, and then we, we went our separate ways. It was a simple interview, and I did it on a dare from another artist. And a dare. A dare. I really wanted to do this story on this gentleman that pulled the cypress out of the swamps of Louisiana where we lived, and he made this beautiful furniture. And Rick happened to be best friends with his son. And I, I didn't know who Rick was, but I wanted to really interview this guy. And he said, interview this shy artist. He won't do an interview. And I said, I'll get one. <laughs> and I did. I actually got both interviews. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, yeah so. I think I turned down the uh, interview at least, uh, or the request, three or four mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Prefaces. First of all, thanks for having us yes. uh, yeah, uh, cool. on, on the show, uh, JB. Um, we, we are from South Louisiana. We came up here during the uh, hurricanes in 2005 uh, and settled here in northwest Arkansas. Um, so when she talks about uh, the uh, uh, newspaper and the, the editing, she was the editor of a newspaper, a small uh, a town in Louisiana, and she was trying to get us to uh, trying to get an interview with me, and I was very introverted, and, and you know I, I didn't do interviews, and I turned it down at least four times. Mm -hmm. I think at four least. times. Yeah. Did you just do it on purpose, or you really didn't want to? No, I didn't want to. Shy. No, gotcha. no, I, I did what I shy. did, and, and and you know my paintings made a living with my art all my life. Uh, Tina was a writer, and and uh, she's writing many things, not just an editor, but um, you know uh, stories of uh, growing up in the South, with which is hilarious, and she'll be coming out with a new series soon. Um, so yeah, that's how we met. Uh, she she. She Somehow finagled it, you know. I think we met at the Tourist Bureau. Yeah. Um, I actually was supposed to do an interview with Ernest Grant, and it got canceled. And I was like, oh, I got to fill somebody in. This little artist from, you know, Louisiana. <laughs> and he, at the time, he was doing a whimsical painting of little people that lived in the swamp, as well as wildlife painting. Gotcha. And I thought, thought yeah. it was very interesting, you know. Yeah. So that's how we met. But you know, you said something before the show that I'm I'm gonna I, I'm amazed. You have not had any art training whatsoever. No, I'm I'm self-taught. Um, my dad was military, so we moved around a lot. So every uh, one to two years, um, ended up at a new school. Either didn't have art, or I just missed art. I got one semester in in uh, high school, um, and and so that's it. Uh, I think I mentioned to someone maybe. In the long run, it was good not to know what the rules are, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. because I don't know what the boundaries are. So that makes just perfect keep, sense to keep me. Keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, do you help with the paintings at all? I do some of the background um, for years. I did photography, uh, being in Louisiana, photos, and my thing was cemeteries and angels. And oh yeah, I've been known in the area. We came up. Uh, 20 something years ago and did War Eagle with the angels and uh, me and my sister that was our thing that we did together and uh, she was known as, as the angel as lady the, yeah as mm -hmm. far as the, the back the angel, angel lady, lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah but my halo is a little tattered <laughs> rusty old halo and a dingy white cloud right, right. <laughs> so on the birds I do a lot of the uh, a lot of the backgrounds I j don't know how to paint um, but I like to splatter we'll, paint and make a background, and he'll scan it yeah, in. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll, it. we'll get it either outside or downstairs somewhere, and, and just start doing a bunch of backgrounds. Traditionally, just so, paint. some painted backgrounds uh, to use as the background uh, for my my paintings, which at this point are now now digital. Did we talk about that at all? Uh, no, but yet. 
Yeah. Right. So I'll jump okay. right in. Talk so, about so, it. <laughs> so, you know, now everything I do, including the pieces you see behind you, uh, was all created on an iPad. So it's, um, so it's a digital painting printed on canvas, as you see here. Why mm -hmm. birds? People ask me that all the time. <laughs> I have no really good answer for that except for, you know, at three years old I was drawing birds and I, I think I'm drawn to the whole ethereal nature of birds and the freedom that they have and, and just being free and, and I've always been attracted to them. I've, I've had birds in the past. But um, these are whimsical birds. These are not yes. like birds flying around. <laughs> well, so, so growing up in Louisiana, I did a lot of wildlife and a lot of those were ducks, of course, and I, tons of ducks. He in has fact, the 98 the, duck stamp in oh, Louisiana, too. Okay. So I had the 97, 98 uh, Louisiana State duck stamp, um, won that competition then, and, and continued to do that for many years. I actually woke up one morning and said, you know, I've had it. I've had enough. Um, Lots of grays and browns and boring and mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. But I still want to do my birds, but I, I, I just, I wanted to make them fun. And, and, and what happened is, you, as you can see, what evolved, the birds be, uh, became more like people I know. Oh. So I'm actually looking at, pe you're going to ask, the next question is, is where do you get your inspiration for the yeah. people? Uh, people. Okay. So <laughs> these I'm, are not birds, they're people. A personality. You'll, you'll find yes. someone you know if you oh, look through really? some of these birds. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and so that's what happened when we started incorporating some of the silly birds into the more formal pieces. Um, they would always sell first and people would be drawn to them as in this way, um, oh that's so and so or that's me or that's Aunt Jo. And I've, I, at that point, we realized we had something. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know? Well, let's look at some. And you can talk about those particular okay. ones and okay. who they are and all that. Aww. Oh, who's that? That's this? Floyd. He mm -hmm. is inspiration. What was that place, Rick, in Florida? Ringland Brothers Circus. So we did we went there and seen so many cool things. And every show, we used to do shows, 20-plus uh, years, uh, fine art shows around the country. And mm -hmm. people would come into our booth and they'd say, I have no talent, no talent. And Floyd, he had no clue he was the fish whisperer. He understood the language of fish. Oh. So Rick painted him, uh, he's one of my favorite, just because, you know, we all have a talent. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so you oh. can see. Yeah. Oh, well, that's Louie. 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 Um, what about so, Louie? So Tina actually, let me preface this, Tina names the birds. And she comes up with the backstories most of the time. Uh, and she tells me when I'm finished with a painting, <laughs> if I need to add this or add that, usually I need to add some bling, some more colors, maybe a, a, a sidekick Feather, or a partner. Yeah. You can see Ramon is in this piece. This particular uh, image, so you'll notice a lot of my images have uh, a Wonderland flair to them. Mm -hmm. um, that's always been my favorite story. And Be the Bird is our brand. It's also our message. Be yourself. Be who you it's are. okay mm -hmm. to be yourself. And the Wonderland story, of course, is very similar. Find yourself, you know, be who you are. So, so Louis. as we went along, uh, the images, you can, you, you can see the, the influences. And that particular piece with Louie, so this is Odie. Uh, Odie's my little chubby. <laughs> my little chubby red bird. Uh, and I had to put him in a snow scene. Um, <laughs> With his little skis. He's, he's our first guardian of the, of the uh, garden. Mm -hmm. This one is Cletus. Uh, Cletus, uh, oh, he's our early, early, bird. early bird. Yeah, yeah. You know, does the early bird really get the worm? That's, that's the, the question here. So, you know, the piece of just like art is all about your interpretation of the piece. I try not to describe them too much. Yes. I, I ask people, what do you see? Yes, absolutely. Oh, look at this one. Ellie Mae. <laughs> Ellie Mae. So that one may be based on someone loosely uh, that oh, I know. Oh, someone very someone colorful. Someone who wears uh, 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 a lot of red glasses. Yeah, and, um, red glasses. Uh, <laughs> so, so usually, and then and for some reason, this little grumpy bird, Otis, uh, so uh, Otis. the kids seem to think is me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So Otis and Ellie, Ellie Mae, they're kind of a, a couple. Mm -hmm. couple. Mm -hmm. I got you. <laughs> so how do you come up with, you just look at the picture and the story just... Sometimes, um, or I will tell her, we need, uh, like I've been begging him for a flamingo uh, 
we need a flamingo. In my version of a flamingo, I wanted to put her on a pole dancing and everything. <laughs> His version was not quite like my var version. And I wanted to name her uh, Fabiola after my grandmother because I loved it's a real my, name. my grandmother's name. It's such a cool name. And um, this is, you know, he came up with uh, Fabiola. But a lot of times I'll either look at a glimpse of what he's doing and I don't want to see any more. Okay. Until it's almost completely done, and then I'll come in and say, oh, "Where's her rings?" Where? And they, you'll notice a lot of them have tattoos or piercings. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. I'm too scared to get one. Oh, <laughs> oh so you do so it for the birds. Well, well, I have let's one. look here. Does that one have? Uh, mm. May May. Now she mm. is a huge Elvis fan. She does have a tattoo. She's our first one with a tattoo <laughs> right here, oh. and that's an ode to my mother. Oh. And May May is all about taking care of yourself and keeping your friends close. She's our little it's, Cajun chef. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. There's a lot gotcha. of symbolism in that piece. And, and mm -hmm. uh, again, loosely based on somebody I know. <laughs> uh, but a lot of Louisiana influences in that particular piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Louisiana is such a magical place for me. I am a, uh, you were talking earlier about graveyards and things like mm -hmm. that. I'm a George Rodriguez fan. Oh, yeah. I have a big blue dog on stump in my yes. living room. Yeah, you yeah. too? Our first was, gallery yeah. was in Henderson where uh, George started, and we showed together. Yeah. yeah he's a, he still has a gallery on Royal Street in New Orleans. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and Germany and California. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's all gone, over but now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But all yeah. over. Uh, okay. So, now, besides the art, which is fabulous and I adore it, thank you. You write children's books. Yeah, we have three children's yeah. books um, and a coloring book. Mm -hmm. we, we always forget the coloring book, but that's. That's the coloring book. We're going to be book. doing more of the coloring books. People, so during COVID, coloring blew up again. It yeah, did. It's a yeah. thing. So let's, uh, the they're going to they're gonna zone in on, uh, so, so let's in. hold it real still so they That's, can see. This is our most so. recent, and Tina's holding our first. This one sold uh, out in less than a year. Yeah, it's And the year out. that COVID happened, actually. Yep. And then this is second for now. Book two. If I and, right. and so the books are all about just little encouraging rhyming quotes for young people. I, I say of all ages because it's quite an uh, and we just came out with an appropriate uh, message for anyone. Be yourself. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so the little mottos, little yeah. Or? Well, it's it's just little inspirational quotes. Um, for all ages uh -huh. and when I went to write it I was writing it I thought first for our grandchildren and then I thought but no this is for our kids and this is for me this is for me but I think one of the biggest compliments we we ever received was from a she was 93 years old came in our booth and started thumbing through our first book and she said this is this, I need this every day. You, know, you have to sign it. You know, we're like, oh, that's so sweet. And I, I don't even think we charged her for the book. She bought several pieces, mm -hmm. and she said, it just makes me happy. It makes me smile. Yeah. And I thought it was so sweet. So it's meant for the child within. That's there you how go. I like to Absolutely. say Absolutely. And we'll keep this series going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're going to take a break in a minute, but let's talk about these. Why did you pick these two to bring today? And let's talk about. Let's talk talk about this guy. Well, that's Finley. Uh -huh. um, Can you all zoom in on Finley for me here? You, you want to read the quote there? Uh, believing is Thank the you. key. Courage sets you free. So again, you see the Wonderland influence and what have you, but you know, it's all about breaking away from what everybody else tells you to do and to be and you know, the corporation and the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about finding yourself. So this guy is just uh, very instrumental in helping people find themselves. He's setting that bird free there, and you see the black bird up there holds the key, and the key is actually, you know, finding oh, yourself. Yeah. So you know, once you start digging into the pieces a little bit, there's a little bit more to it. I get, we get people all the time that so, you know have this piece, been looking at it for years. It's a beautiful piece, and, and people buy it because they love the colors, yeah. and, and, they, and then they realize, oh. Oh, there's this, this, and then, oh, there's a message, you know. So, and, and that's the great part when they realize that. What the mice? Tell me why? Why mice? Why not mice? Oh well, there. Uh, you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, very, I'm 30 years corporate. No, I'm trying to clear I mean, it so, out of my head. Some of the pieces uh, don't have any real significance except that um, they're witness to the fact that, you know, we all need to be. 
be real. Be who we are. Mm -hmm. Let's flip over here if we can get somebody to this flamingo. That is a flamingo. That is. That is Fabiola, Fabiola. my grandmother. There you go. Fabiola, you can see again a lot of the Wonderland <laughs> influence. And uh, it's also a reminder that we all have wings. Use them. Um, you know, Fabiola's getting a little round and, and lazy and, 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 you know, would <laughs> rather, legs. rather yeah. take the balloon nice uh, <laughs> than, than use her wings. Um, but we're all good at something. Find those wings, find those feathers, and use them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back and continue this saga. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back, and I'm now, I've got to know, I've got to know. Tell me about the, the bubbles. Why is, why are bubbles in your art? Yeah, if you, you may have noticed, um, there's, there are bubbles in a lot of the pieces. Um, I, I started that at three years old. Oh, really? Um, I would do these little bubbles popping, and I, I remember my dad saying how unique that was, and I really didn't know what it was all about until, you know, I started thinking about things. But anyway, bubbles in my pieces represent the magic. It's the magic, you know. So, it, you know, bubbles uh, exist in two worlds. They're, they're liquid and they're floating in air. It's, it, it's magic. We're, we see that. So it's just the magic. Man, I'll never look at a bubble mm -hmm. the same again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thankfully, I met you because, you know, I spent all this time just thinking they were bubbles. And it's <laughs> right in front of you, this magical thing that's, that's happening. That's exactly right. So um, how do people respond to your art? You kind of talked about that, but, you know, you, you have people walk in there and they probably stay there forever just looking at things, right? There is a lot of that. You know, I could tell you uh, one of the, another one of the best compliments that I got was this gentleman that came into our art show. Uh, up in Colorado, and um, it was a really prestigious art show, and he kept looking at me really strange. And I thought, oh, because <laughs> we get some woozies in there sometimes. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> and um, I like the fun and the thrill of it all, but he, he looked at me, he was getting ready to leave, and he goes, I'll be back. And he said, um, you're, you're a little crazy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, maybe, he said, well, honey, you're my kind of crazy, I think. <laughs> and he was looking at all the birds and he was just blown away. And what happens at a lot of our art uh, shows, we can't even hardly get in our booth. If I leave our booth, I can't get in our booth unless I sneak around the back because the booth is always full of people pointing and laughing and just giggling. You know, <laughs> they just can find, relate to so many different images. Let's look at some more of your images here. I think we're gonna, oh. Oh, that's oh, like a good example of one of our mm -hmm. events. So um, we've got awards all over the country, yep. some really, really prestigious awards. So, you know, we did that for over 20 years. That was our living, you know, traveling all mm -hmm. over big, big events and, and shows around the country. And then when COVID hit, um, we said I've been we, our, our business <laughs> didn't slow down, it stopped. Yeah. And we they were in quite, a, shows quite a yeah. pickle. Yeah. And so we, we had been living here. We've been in Bella Vista for 11 years now. This year will be 11 years. Um, and we, when we evacuated here, we, we our, our point was to be, let's just be um, um, tourists. Tourist. Yeah. Let's just enjoy the area because our business was scattered around the nation. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to do business here. And then COVID hit and we were out of business. So we set up our living room for, uh, for our online. Yeah. We did Facebook Lives <laughs> every day. We did Instagram oh, and, wow. and, and YouTube, and we were just struggling to try to stay afloat. And it was quite a struggle for two years. A lot of our artist friends went out of business uh -huh. during this yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but somehow we made it. And, uh, and now we, we realize uh, in, in this short period that we need to network locally. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to start this thing again. And um, that's what we're doing now. So what came out of that too, though, we have customers from all over the country, from Florida to uh, California mm -hmm. to Wisconsin that come see us now. Oh. And we do the, the War Eagle. We've been doing that mm -hmm. show 22 years um, where the big tents are over mm -hmm. by the mill. Uh, so they come. They know we are at that show every year, you know. They come and, see us and they come see us. 
Yeah, and then our main okay. outlet is, is Art on the Square there in Bentonville. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. the, just downtown Bentonville. Yeah, it's kind so. of there on the corner. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, you can't help but you walk by there and you have to go in there. Yeah, it's, it's a great it's collective a really of, great. of many local artists mm -hmm. there, so we're, mm -hmm. we're happy to be there. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, and so how do people get a hold of you? BeTheBird.com is, is the website. You can find our work there. Like I said, locally, uh, Bentonville, uh, in Bentonville is, is Art on the Square. Mm -hmm. Um, we've Branson. got a place in Eureka, a place in Branson, yeah. um, Peter Engler and Branson. Shops scattered all over the country, but uh, locally, that's the best way. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, uh, let's see. Do we have some more? Let's see what else we have. Oh, that's oh, yeah. oh. So, so it's a big biking community mm -hmm. here, and mm -hmm. we both bike, uh, and we love the trails. And um, so I've, I've got a series of three bike posters now that we've created. You'll see Bella Vista mentioned there on that particular image. Um, and those are available, like I said, through the website or, or at the store there um, in Bentonville. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Well, well, we have done some collaborations. This is with Crystal Bridges uh -huh. uh, and ORT, uh, Ozark Regional Transport uh, Transit. Transit, Excuse yeah. me. Um, and yeah, we've, we've done some decorations there on, <laughs> on some of the local vans there. I I Go ahead. I just seen that bus again the other day. It seemed like everybody was emailing or, or texting us. I've seen your bus. I've seen your bus. But we had not seen it yet. Oh, and call man. it the uh, bird bus. The bird bus. And then when we first, <laughs> when we seen it, it kind of drove up beside us a little bit after it was done. And it was so cool to see your art. So now we get bus bird bus like sightings. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really? People yeah, all the time. Facebook goes, oh, I saw him send a picture. Yeah. 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 So, so you just. I, I know you said you started with a, a people or an idea or whatever, but do you ever just start with a message and then create the bird, or is the bird first, or how does that work? All the above. Yeah. All the above. It's mm -hmm. a collaboration. Mm -hmm. So there could be a, a JB bird on, on the horizon. Oh. And, yes, you know, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's inspired by, by different people. So when we're in these big crowds, we're, we're, we're always looking for that one bird that stands out, you know. You mean you kind of like one, Tina? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the one that's, you know, the not, afraid, crazy one. not yeah. afraid to be themselves, yeah. um, you know, and just doing their own thing. Um, I've been inspired by customers that have come into the booth, mm. and after they leave, I'm doing a little sketch, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Mm. All right, so War Eagle is in our Twitter. Always the third Thursday in third October. Third Thursday in October. Weekend. Mm -hmm. Weekend, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you'll always find us in Tent 4. We've been doing that for over 20 years. We were coming up from yeah. Louisiana yeah. to do that. We've show. even done the Bella Vista one when we first Oh, yeah, we did many too. years in yeah. Bella Vista, yeah. Yeah, I wish that had come back. Mm -hmm. that we missed that quite mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Do you have any, like, what would you like to say to the audience today? Anything in particular? You never know. You might be the bird. Shoot the bird. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sorry. <laughs> be, be the bird is its own message. You know, it's, it's be yourself. I think that's why people are attracted to our work. Um, number one, people want to smile. They need a, a reason to smile. And, and nowadays, stop watching the news. Not this. You've got to watch this show. <laughs> so um, there's also uh, a place. I want to show the place that I do my writing and my own creating as well. I think we have, there oh. it is, Rick and my son-in-law, uh, Alan, built that for me. Um, and then right after they built it, I had a little health scare, so I couldn't get down to it for almost two years. But it is my little sacred place. I it love my little like cottage. It's a storybook. Yeah. yeah. And, and if we were to speak on that, um, you know, Tina's been brewing these uh, stories of growing up in the South as little short Southern stories. stories. Um, and oh, <laughs> oh. And, and that's honey, that, please with wait, that, honey, please with T. Louise. T. Yeah. Louise. That's a series I'm working on right now. So is that going to be a book or is that going yes. to be a okay several yes. books and there will be some art short stories. Okay, mm -hmm. I was thinking it was going to be more like uh, in the newspaper, like ask T. Louise and she'll give you. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. The answer really decided, to the question. We don't know how big it will grow mm -hmm. yet, but it's been brewing for a while, so it's just time now. So it's yeah. apples and oranges. We have the birds, more, yeah. and then Tina, it's time for Tina to get her little, her short stories out there, so we're working on that. Okay. That'll be out right. soon. 
Well, I tell you what, we're going to have to uh, do this again sometime. We're, oh, we're sure. kind of out of time, mm -hmm. but not really. We're and happy to be here. I am Thank just mm -hmm. delighted. Thanks for having us. You bet. Mm -hmm. and, for, and again, I can't say enough for somebody that's supposed to be really shy. You're not. When you're passionate, you're not. And that's the key right there. Just whatever you're excited about. And people, short, really quick, when people ask, what you know, I'm not good, at, uh, I don't have a talent, I'm not good at this, what have you, yes you do, you just have to find it uh, and, and then go with that. And the secret to all of it is, is fo follow your passion. Okay. That is what will make you great. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like a good way to end the show today. Thank you so much. Oh, You're thank so you for having, Thanks for having us. And I'm stealing that coat when you, <laughs> or, or copying it when mm. it's you. So anyway, hey, Bella Vista, we talked about it today, and we're going to talk about it some more next time. So stay tuned. We'll see you next month. And be the bird. Be there the you bird. Go. Be the bird. <laughs>